Welcome to Bruker's video series about IR and Raman microscopy. In this video we're going to talk about spatial and depth resolution in confocal Raman microscopy and imaging. We're going to talk about the fundamentals of spatial resolution in microscopy and show you what the Centera 2 Raman microscope is capable of. The spatial resolution is mainly defined by the Rayleigh criterion. It states that the resolution is given by 0.61 times the incident wavelength of the Raman laser divided by the numerical aperture of the microscope objective. The Centera 2 Raman microscope is equipped with a 100x magnification objective with a numerical aperture of 0.9. Using the aforementioned equation, this leads to a resolution of up to 360 nanometers when using the 532 nanometer laser. To test this claim, we used a high-precision PTB Raman calibration standard made by the German Metrology Institute in Braunschweig. It consists of a silicon substrate with a gold layer that forms very fine and highly precise structures. This test is based on the silicon phonon band at 521 wave numbers that is more intense on pure silicon areas and less intense in the gold layers areas. Each square is 1 by 1 micrometer. In this image, you can see a line map recorded along one end of the chess grid. A bright color means high intensity of the phonon band and a dark color means low intensity of the phonon band. So, in this overlay of the chemical information over the visual image, we already have a good indication that this square is well resolved. The intensity of the phonon band along the chess grid line has been extracted and is shown here. The distance between two peaks are exactly 2 micrometers and the full width at half maximum of one peak is 1 micrometer that equals exactly one square. To achieve this kind of precision it's not only necessary to have a high quality objective but you also need a highly accurate motorized sample stage. The Centera 2 features encoded motors for precise movement in all three directions. The smallest step size in X and Y is 50 nanometers and the smallest step size in Z is 100 nanometers. The accuracy and reproducibility of the sample stage is defined as better than 1 micrometer. But as you can already see from the chemical image above, the accuracy is way higher than this. To come to a more challenging task, we measured a 400 by 400 nanometer square of the PTB standard. As you can see, we were still able to resolve the square. To examine the resolution test to its full extent, we extracted a line across the square. Due to optical effects and a convolution of the band, the best achievable resolution actually is 450 nanometers, as you can see in this slide. For a final test, we measured a graphene fiber that measures 170 nanometers by 5 micrometers. On the left hand side you can see the well-defined measurement of the fiber. On the right hand side you can see a line map measured across the graphene fiber. And if you have a look at it you will see that the full width at half maximum is exactly 360 nanometers which is also our diffraction limit. So the Centera 2 Rama microscope is able to get the best physically possible spatial resolution. We also want to talk about depth or axial resolution. It is defined, or it is very commonly defined, as 1.4 times the incident wavelengths times the refractive index divided by the square of the numerical aperture. And in the table below you can see the best possible resolution for each wavelength. Please keep in mind that this is only a theoretical value. The rule of thumb for real life applications is that the depth resolution is roughly three times worse than the spatial resolution. To test the depth resolution of the Centera 2 Raman microscope, we used highly oriented pyrolytic graphite, which is a strong absorber and only gives a signal on the actual top layer. So we used the depth profile starting 4 micrometers above the HOPG, going 4 micrometers into the material. To visualize the depth resolution, we extracted the intensity at the 1581 wave number line and plotted it against the distance. You can see that we reach a full width at half maximum of 1.28 micrometers, which roughly corresponds to our rule of thumb that the 
depth resolution is around three times worse than the spatial resolution. So the Centera 2 also reaches its highest potential in this aspect.